This is Hagen Haddock, and last time on Freddy Scum. I joined the Flying Anchors on a covert mission to gather a number of resources in preparation for a preemptive strike against Xeon forces that were planning to attack California base. To my great surprise, we actually somehow managed to get everything we needed. Trust me, our success was very unexpected given their uh, unique way of working. Should have known things went too smoothly though, as our superiors and us were suddenly arrested by military police and brought in for questioning. There are no soldiers in Xeon, so we are certain to be victorious in this war! 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 You are being detained in the detention center on post. So it is a uh, basically these kind of like cells in a jail, but a little, you know, a little bit nicer. It's not like actual jail. It's you're being held for questioning. OK, it's like Disney jail. I've been through this. Yeah, yeah. If, if, if it's Disneyland jail, then yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Lone Star and Mad Gun, you get thrown into a cell. And in the cell with you is Captain Godfrey. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Lieutenant? <laughs> Lieutenant? Um, <clears throat> ma'am? Ensign? Ma'am. She walks over to you, Lone Star, and she slaps you. Ah. Bright slap. Yeah, thank you for that <laughs> correction, ma'am. <I> just... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... You're like, what did I do? Just oblivious. <laughs> you signed... You signed my name on papers to get transportation for a mission that was specifically not supposed to look like it was being orchestrated by either myself or Colonel McCaffrey. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that makes sense. So <laughs> in retrospect, I was in, I was in my zone. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, there's no helping it now. Uh, we're not in major trouble. It's just there's politics going on in the base. You know, there's a, you know, a camp of commanders who obviously they, they just kind of want to sit here and wait and defend, even though there's no way we're going to successfully defend California base. And then me, McCaffrey and Alan, we just we, we want to try to do a preemptive attack and well it got pretty heated and they started questioning our motivations about our preemptive attack and uh yeah this just kind of compounded onto that and it, it doesn't look good but it's definitely just political and they're going to let us go as soon as things start to heat up out there but that's going to be too late for us to enact our plan if that's the case my bad yes <laughs> yes ensign your bad is a way of putting it so the ensign's in here for faking a signature. What am I in here for? Uh, probably questioning. Uh, technically nothing, because they just know you're associated with me, so they I just have orders to hold you and question you. This is definitely not going to look good, but uh, like this wouldn't hold up in a, in a, in a court, in a mili even in a military court. But we're at war. It's probably going to be overlooked. Okay. I'm gonna end that scene, and we're gonna go to the other cell. Um, so Tiny, co-pilot, and Haddock, you oh, yeah. all get thrown into a cell. Oh, what the fuck? Are, are there cushions? Are there seats in here? Uh, there's those like like those metal stainless steel benches that are like held up by like chains. Oh, I'm you know, gonna the ask the guard. I'm gonna be like, hey, can I get a pillow or something to put on this? This chair? Oh, yeah, sure. right away. Right away, sir. Really? No. And he shuts the door. <laughs> <laughs> wow. These Did are I hear that? Um, Y'all could yell from cell to cell, oh, nice. um, but it's going to have to be yelling. Uh, you can't, like, casually overhear. Oh, so. okay. Hey, Lone Star! Go, pilot. What's up, buddy? Does your chair have a pillow on it? Fuck, no. 
Uh, fuck. It do you, sucks. Do you just not like the cold metal touching you? I just, my butt, I don't like sitting on hard seat. <laughs> I, okay, oh, I, I really can't help, I'm sorry. Have you ever kid. looked in my, my saber what? fish? You would notice that I have a pillow in there, too. <laughs> Oh. oh fuck! You know, I do think uh, I was wondering what the fuck that was for when I was doing some repairs once. But all right, well, yeah, good to That's know you're a soft thing. boy. Just, oh. just think, I'm sleepy. I think I'm gonna interject here. You know, this is all very interesting and all, but anyone <laughs> of you two know what got us into this mess? Uh, I don't know. I was with you. Do you think bees? You think the bees might have? <laughs> They, they followed through on our B story and found out it wasn't real. Well, it was certainly very attention grabbing. I thought it was so believable. You really s- screamed bees. Like, what were you thinking? Well, I'm sorry, guys. I got us into all this mess with my bees. Yeah, one of us fucked up somewhere. Someone did. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I like to think that was a that was a hard cut to the to the Lone Star Mad Gun Godfrey cell, and Matt Lone Star is just sitting there like looking down. Someone did. <laughs> <laughs> he felt that in his heart. <laughs> My question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all that heart communication going on. Man, me and, we need me and to... Lone Star are so oh. new types. Dude, There's we no got doubt that about energy, it, man. <laughs> but yeah, with new type. <laughs> that's how we should just always describe metagaming as new type ability. <laughs> yeah. Unknown you know, new type abilities. It's honestly, it's not a bad fucking approach to uh, a, at least a part of the, the new type mechanic. Yeah. Um, allowing, allowing some degree of metagaming. Um, so yeah, cool. I will consider that. <laughs> okay, so time passes. It's, uh, it's one of those montages where everyone's in the room and then they, they're bored and then the y'all- clock, a fly yeah, you, on the wall. Yeah, and you change places and you change places and you're all like fiddling your thumbs or like kicking a wall or something. It's very boring stuff. It's like Cole Pilot tries to sit next to me and then I move. Oh. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that's, that's that version of the montage. Every, at least they didn't confiscate my harmonica. Oh no. man! Perfect. Oh, <laughs> it is perfect for the montage there, Matt. Perfect. So, Madgun, what song are you playing on your harmonica? <laughs> Some kind of blues song. I, I don't know. I have to go pick one out. Fitting, fitting. Mr. Brightside. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was made yet. <laughs> no, it's it's definitely made, but it's it's an oldie. It's an oldie. Yeah, yeah this is classic. Point. Eventually, there is a uh, a knock on the metal door of the brig to Lone Star, Mad Gun, and Godfrey's cell. Come in. Um, I'm the harmonica. <laughs> it's like, fucking, the, the guard looking through the slit is like, you're real fucking funny. Back away from the door. Just take your shoes off. <laughs> he, just, <laughs> he, he opens the door. I'm like, all right, smart ass. They told me to come in and grab someone for questioning. It's going to be you. <laughs> Uh, they, they, they grab you and pull you out and shut the shut the cell room door. I'm just going to be uh, like really confident towards Godfrey and be like, I'm going to clear this up. I'm going to clear this up, Godfrey. No, please. Yeah. So once they clear a certain distance, I'm like, ma'am, you want to jump the, the next one when he comes in? <laughs> uh, she says like, you, you mean like attack the MP? Yeah, like di- attack the MP. I mean, I don't just... like MPs. You don't like MPs. It's, it's Look, a viable reason. Look, Lieutenant. No one likes MPs, but I know. But I mean, like, it's it, we're gonna we're gonna be let go eventually. It, they're not gonna hurt us. They're not gonna do anything to us. Just bear through the questioning. It's it's literally pointless. Don't have to try to clear anything up. She kind of stares at the door that you uh, Lone Star just exited through. <laughs> <laughs> you see, your your plan is getting further and further out of reach, and I went through a lot of effort to make this plan go through. I assaulted a guy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're well, gonna make I, this plan work. I certainly didn't ask you to do that. Um. So. Uh. I. I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Lone Star, you're in a dark, dark room, sitting on a metal chair. Oh, these chairs in, are uncomfortable. In front of a metal table. Oh God, this table's uncomfortable. <laughs> and there's a there's a just a big light 
shining into your face across oh, the room. This light is fucking uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable. <laughs> and then you hear the the same voice of the MP who arrested you. Fuck, what did he sound like? <clears throat> um, Hi, I I was like, Adam. He sounded like that. No, no, I think he. <laughs> All right, so he's like, "Are you comfortable, Ensign?" Very. <laughs> You're a bad liar. You know that. <laughs> no. <laughs> so he sits down. All right. Now you have a short list to go through. So let's get this over with, Ensign. The sooner you tell me the truth, the sooner you go back to that cell, which is more comfortable than in here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so your name is Pat Mitchell, also known as Lone Star. You are an Ensign in the Earth Federation Air Force, correct? That's right. All right, good. Off to a good start. You didn't fuck up already. Thanks. <laughs> how how long have you been in the military? How long have I been in the military? Yeah. Or I'm asking you, how long? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Adam. Hold on, let me check my answer sheet real quick. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're Ensigns and you were kind of fresh out of the academy, a year enlisted? A year? Before okay, this? I wasn't sure if we were counting, like, like if the academy counted as part of that. So, so yeah, I'll just say, yeah, a year. A year and change. And what what drew you to the military? Why did you decide to serve the Earth Federation? Specifically, why did you continue to be enlisted when Xeon attacked? Why have you not fled? Because the Federation needs the best, and that's me. I'm gonna <laughs> gonna write that down as a questionable answer, but okay. How long have you known Captain Godfrey, or you know, operated under her as an ensign? Yeah, I've known the captain for a few months. And what about Colonel McCaffrey? How long have you known him? A day or so. Hmm. All right. Where were you yesterday? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 no, was, that an, was that an audible gulp? How would I spell that? Would I spell that uh, G U L P? Don't write that down. Don't write that down. Uh, yeah. My throat was dry. Don't write that down. Right, Jim. No, no, mm. All right. Um, yesterday, you said. Where was yes, I? yesterday. Before today. Yeah, the, yep. Mm -hmm. That's how days work. What would be a good lie? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, saying. I didn't quite catch that. <laughs> uh, I said, um, hold on, it's, it was a long day. I don't know. Oh, that's what, that's what the L word in that sentence you said was yeah, under long. your breath. <laughs> You're long. <laughs> yeah, we played some volleyball. That, that's it? You just yep. played volleyball all day? It was a long day of volleyball. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Um, who did you play volleyball with? My Simple best question, right? World co-pilot. Mm, I was kind of aware of that, but uh, who were you playing against? Oh, you mean the two guys who lost brutally, the slipstream team? Yes, 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 yes. Um, hmm. That would be. Um, would that be? No, 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 no. He's looking through his papers. Insandati Kilgore and. Lieutenant Junior Grid Chance Topper. Yes? That's right. Yeah. That's what I thought. Uh, they won the match, right? No, they never won. They suck. It's funny. It's funny. That's not what they told us. They, uh, they, they told... <laughs> <laughs> they told us they, they beat you pretty badly. Uh, they I think the that. score was like... I think the score was like 200 to 1, which... You know, with a score like that, <clears throat> I, I, I think I have to believe you. you that's, a, that's an all-day game score. You 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 sucked all day, but wow! No, now this would be a no. This would be a matter of record, though. If you if you uh, want to correct me, you have to convince me you were doing something else with your time, and you didn't spend all day losing a two hundred point match. <laughs> we felt bad for the handicapped. We let them win. <laughs> <laughs> The, the ha handicapped? Yeah, they both have severe mental disorders. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised you oh, didn't I know that from the records. Hmm. Yeah. That's really sad. Anything. I don't see anything here. Hmm. Uh, All right. I'll make a note of that. Yeah, I probably should, you know, discharge them for keeping that a secret. But, you know, we'll worry about that later. Mm -hmm. Yes, most certainly. Yes. All right. So you spent all day playing volleyball. That's correct. Okay. 
What was the score for your all-day volleyball game? <laughs> 200 to 1. Okay, that matches up then. Hmm. Gods, right. take him away. Hey, can I get a pillow guard. on the way back? No. All right. <laughs> All right. So uh, the guard comes and gets Lone Star and carries him back to the, the, the fucking holding cells. So back in the holding cells, we have the tiny co-pilot and Haddock holding cell. What's going on with you guys? What, how you, how y'all spending your time? I'm I'm like moving in my seat. I'm very not happy. My butt hurts. Yeah, fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those noises the whole time. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to stand up and I'm like, this sucks too. I'm going to sit back down. Oh, shit. <laughs> I started hitting my head against the wall. This is torture. Don't worry, L- Lieutenant Dancer. We'll get out of here soon and won't have to deal with these uncomfortable benches anymore. Yes, these uncomfortable benches. Benches. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I guess I'm, I'm doing a mix of leaning against the wall and sitting down at the base of it. Mm-hmm. And occasionally saying, Tiny, you know, that's not really helping, you know? <laughs> I wish it was, but you're right. <laughs> Helps me keep my mind off of uh, things. You know, it's, uh, it's cool being in the cell with you two, because you two are like, you know, kind of similar. Lone Star, oh, you're, being walked by, you're being walked by this cell. That they're in now. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, Lone Star. <laughs> <laughs> Guards, what are they like, asking you about? Don't worry. Guards, like, shut up. You about? I cleared everything. Shut up. Hey, I'll, stop. I'll, stop, I'll, stop talking. Cool. Sorry. Keep hey, walking. Lone Star, kid. Yeah. What's up? What's, why are we in here? You um, know? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, probably something to do with Topper. I don't know. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot about Topper. It probably <laughs> is his fault we're in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Lone Star, they take you back to your cell. With Mad Gun and Godfrey. And then after he passes the cell, there's a knock and the little window opens on the door to the tiny co-pilot and Haddock cell. And the guard asks you to hey, step away from the, the door. Oh, okay. All right, he opens up the, the door. He's like, uh, mm, you, you look like you want to be questioned about as much as anyone else wants to be questioned here. <laughs> Me? Yes, you time. Yes, you. Oh. <laughs> she probably really wants to be questioned right now. I, I can use. I, yes. Can okay. <laughs> a dancer ask for a pillow while you're out there? <laughs> Just no reaction. Say thanks. <laughs> All right. So the guard takes Tiny and walks her to the interrogation room. All right. So it's the same interrogation room. It's cold. It has a chair. It uh, has a table. They're both metal. They're horrible. Uh, and the light across the room shining in your face. And the interrogator is there, the same NP who uh, kind of brought you in. Have a seat. Okay. All right. I will try to make this brief. You seem like someone who's a, uh, a very straight shooter. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so how long have you been in the military? Oof. Uh, That's a good answer. We have a, we have a section for that, actually. It's a checkbox <laughs> called oof. <laughs> right, ne- right next to a blank where you could write the year. But uh, that, that suffices. Uh, so what, what made you join the military? Honor. Honor. All right. We also have a checkbox for that, funny <laughs> enough. That is, is this work? These are good answers. Much better than the last person. <laughs> <laughs> so, h- how long uh, have you known or served under Captain Godfrey? Ah, uh, Godfrey. She's a great woman. Um, I'd say about a year. No, right. right? Would that be right or a couple of months? That would that would be right for her because okay. y'all, y'all, you are like basically y'all are all in the same situation. You would all know her for about a year, um, mm. unless you knew her prior to that. Um, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh colonel mccaffrey what do you know about him that old guy about a day mm. or so yeah did he seem like a trustworthy soldier to you i think so yeah i'd say uh he's he's one of them good old boys so mm. 
Yes, yes. I've seen his liquor cabinet. It's nothing but Jack Daniels. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. trustworthy. I, I'd i say that that makes him a patriot. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting answer. There's also a checkbox for that. I don't know how. how. <laughs> All right. What did you do yesterday, by chance? Could you could you enlighten me of your day-to-day comings and goings? Sure. Well, it started off, I had a pretty rough go and was in med, med bay. Mm-hmm. And, and, uh... We have records of that, yes. That lines up. But you were you were discharged at some point, uh, pretty early. Yeah. And then after that, I went to um, go hang out with Godfrey, play some cards. Oh, interesting. He writes it down. Ron, what time in the morning did that happen? Basically, I went to go see Captain Godfrey as soon as I was discharged. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then I had a pretty leisure day after that. You know, these answers have been pretty good so far, so I'm going to just cut to the chase. What time did you go to the Mulder pool and speak with the secretary, Janet? Ah, oh, Janet, she's a great gal. Yeah, really she, into the same kind of literature as me. She she said much of the same about you and uh, passed me a phone number. I don't know why, uh, but oh. okay. She said it was for you. Oh, cool. He, he slips Did a piece of paper that? across the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. Uh, I don't... Let's see. I'd say that uh, Jan and I had a nice chat, maybe about like 4 p.m., 4.30, hmm. about that time. All right. And what did you uh what did you talk about? And was there oh. by chance an approval of any forms going on around this time in the background of this conversation? Yeah, it could have been. Hmm. Were these forms your forms or did someone else bring them in? Oh, I mean, I someone gave them to me and then I was like, "Oh, okay. I guess, you know, while I'm in the neighborhood, I might as well stop by and you know, drop them off. Interesting, interesting. Uh, who who drops them? Uh, who dro- Who gave you the forms to turn in? That's a good question. You don't remember? I was really just kind of flying by the seat of my pants yesterday. I was just hanging out and having mm. a very leisure day. <laughs> I don't really remember. Oh. I don't recall. Oh, Lieutenant, you disappoint me. I'll have to uh, interrogate Secretary Janet again. She uh, she told me you she signed and approved no forms that day. So that is an incredulity of her story. Ah, uh, well, that will be it for you, Lieutenant. Uh, guards, see her out. Guards, come get take you. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, it's about time for lunch. Oh, we get lunch? I'm um, just, you know, curious. <laughs> I don't know. I don't handle that. Okay. All right. So, Tiny, you get brought back to your cell. In the meantime, Mad Gun, Lone Star, Godfrey Cell, what's been going on in there? Harmonica. Well, <laughs> other than other than you playing your harmonica endlessly. Lone I'm Star's like, been looking at the ground a lot. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, just beating the <laughs> shit out of me. No, I just keep reassuring them. Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's getting cleared up. I'm sure we'll be out of here soon. This is Godfrey. What exactly did you uh, tell them, Ensign? I just told him uh, the truth, you know, that we played volleyball all day. Oh, God damn it. Uh, okay. But, uh, you know, you could just not respond, right? But what? Or or even just tell them the truth. Um, what? <laughs> the interrogation doesn't matter. It matters more that you're actually lying. Oh, fuck. Yeah. She's also looking at the crown now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure everything will be fine. Be uh-huh. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how did, how did you expect this to go, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, ma- uh, Godfrey, even Godfrey as a character should know pretty much how this should be. Yeah, for real. <laughs> she yeah. knew we are a bunch of fuck Yeah, but for plot reasons, she has to forget that conveniently yeah. so that you actually do things. <laughs> you just be shit posting on base all day <laughs> <laughs> nothing wrong with that so she fucking wants us to tell them the truth she's saying that that is an option because uh, basically the people who are getting the mps to question you already know what you are trying to do and so 
the best light possible of it is to say, hey, we were trying to follow this preemptive plan that y'all would not approve <laughs> behind Man. your backs. She should have just told us that before we got fucking questioned. <laughs> but, but That's by, some information she could have totally shared before I got pulled out of there. I'm not, <laughs> not, I'm not in the same cell as you so. but, but by, um... <laughs> But if you lie, it makes it a little bit more suspecting, like su suspicious behavior, you know. Although Tiny didn't really lie, she just made she just caught Janet in a lie, like she made pretty much, yeah. But she kind of yeah. lied because she said she didn't know who gave her the papers. But I mean, yeah, yeah that's, that's, eh. she was also just out of the hospital. Yeah, yeah. and I didn't play cards with Godfrey, but I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> that hap that happened in your head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Might have dreamed it. <laughs> Uh, Haddock, co-pilot, you're in your cell. Oh, boy. Wow, I can't wait to know, you know, what hey, they're asking hey, in there. Can you stop <laughs> standing up and sitting down every five seconds? It's, it's getting cut. Well, well, my butt hurts, okay? You know, like, what, is your butt just not hurt? You just have, like, buns of steel over there? Fuck. It's now canon. Haddock has buns of steel. <laughs> no! Oh, meme time, fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fucking Photoshop two steel balls on a uh, Hagen Dazs ice cream. He's got the ass of an actual Gundam. <laughs> Listen, when my ass gets a little, you know, sore, I just squat down. Oh, you mean like this? Let me let me try that. Oh, uh, oh roll, wow. roll for athletics. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> got a nine. Hell yeah, you successfully squat. You successfully uh, squat, yeah. Partial success, you look kind of stupid doing it, but you know. <laughs> but that's so just, does it relieve just... some of my butt pain? Yes. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm going to start doing that. I'm just going to stand up, squat down. I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> Ooh, you're going to get a nice butt, dude, doing some squats. Not that the Lone Star would care. All right, the cell door opens. Oh the cell door opens to co-pilot doing squats in front of Haddock. And Tiny's pushed into the cell by the guard. Oh, hey, Lieutenant, what are they, um, what are they asking? Hey, did well, you give me that pillow? Well, I see you guys have been entertaining yourselves. <laughs> uh, no pillow. Sorry, kid. No, it's fine. I learned this thing. To Haddock taught me. It's German. It's German. <laughs> as far as the questioning goes, uh, they really want to know what we did yesterday. Oh, we can't. Yeah, we can't tell them that. That's uh, that's we did some bad stuff yesterday. We got a lie, folks. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. I'm sure they know. know already. I mean, you don't have to lie. We're gonna tell yeah. them that we tried to steal a bunch of stuff. Okay. I mean, sure, we could just tell them that. Sure, whatever. I mean, just <laughs> Just so, answer uh, what you're asked. I know what, how these people work, okay? They have they have records of what we did already. Oh. All right. There's a um Fuck. another loud a loud there's another loud knocking at the uh at the door. The same cell. The little window opens and he, he tells you to step away from the door with your squats. I'm gonna be stuck in the squat position. I just ran out of energy to actually lift myself back up, so I'm just gonna gonna roll over. I'm like, oh shit. Okay. It's like all right, uh, Mr. Squat Guy, uh, question time. Okay, I'm going to hold out my hand. <laughs> the guard leans in to lift you up. Thanks. You need to ask me. No, it's not me. <laughs> Follow me to the questioning area. Oh, All right. Okay. He kind of issues you down the hall. And uh, before he leans back up and leaves the room, he drops a small item you can't see what it is yet haddock or tiny and then he looks at you haddock and says echoes and then shuts Ooh. the door that's that's the code word <laughs> <laughs> while, while I'm being led down the hall i want to be like i don't hear any echoes i feel like it's pretty the acoustics are pretty good in here they they have the walls padded and everything <laughs> and everything yeah and everything. oh yeah yeah my yeah my uh, my 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 mistake uh-huh yeah you are you're hearing things dude you can get your ears checked <laughs> Stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> I really wish Adam would stop talking with that German accent and insisting on us calling him Furin. Yeah, it's getting pretty weird. Hey everyone, I'm Dallas Welk. And I'm Zach. We'll start off by giving our mandatory shoutouts. We'd like to thank Brian Ramos, 
for sharing us on his Instagram story, and Keenan from the Gundam Guys podcast for leaving us an iTunes review. Also, we'd like to thank the Gundam Guys for including us in their favorite podcast bonus episode, Part 1. We were one of Keenan's picks, and it was cool to hear someone talk about the show that's not ourselves. Be sure to listen to the Gundam Guys on all podcast platforms. It's a great show to add to your Gundam podcast collection. Plus, there's not very many Gundam podcasts, so you might as well listen to them all. Speaking of Gundam podcasts, we recently recorded a commercial spot for Three Times Faster. On one of their future episodes, you can hear mine and Dallas's low-quality voices invade their pristine aural soundscape. We'd also like to quickly thank Justin Meter of Three Times Faster for the billion-dollar idea of putting Copilot is my Copilot on a t-shirt. We don't currently have plans to do that, but we enjoy having it on our big barrel of things we might one day do. Over the weekend, Adam, Matt, Zach, and myself attended Fanaticon in Dothan, Alabama. We met so many fan. Mike, if you're listening, we love you and thanks for buying our Slapdash merchandise. And welcome to any new listeners we might have picked up from Fanaticon. We met a lot of cool people last weekend and we're glad you're here. And now some good news. We found Matt walking the streets of downtown Atlanta the other night. He temporarily became the leader of a gang of homeless cat farmers? They would collect stray female cats and milk them to supply Atlanta's underground feline milk trade. We were able to get him home and cleaned up in time to record this latest episode. Unfortunately, without a strong leader, Atlanta's cat farmers are experiencing internal power struggles, resulting in increased crime rates and violence. Thanks, guys, and enjoy the rest of the episode. So, co-pilot, you're in the same interrogation room. You know it by now. It's cold. But what's a comfortable temperature for you, co-pilot? 72, right on the dot. It's 68. Oh, shit. All right. <laughs> it's metal. I'm it's metal sitting on the chair and be like, motherfucker. <laughs> it's a metal chair <laughs> and a metal I'm, table. I'm, I'm going to push it aside with my foot and just squat. <laughs> <laughs> the interrogator is like, oh, uh, what, what, what are you doing? Uh, I, I can't. This chair sucks. I'm just going to squat. It's a new thing I learned. Uh, OK, so he sits down at the table. Uh, your head just barely clears the table. So it's... <laughs> I could see him. Though. I could stare in his yeah, eyes. Yeah, 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 you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right into his <laughs> eyes. That's so stupid. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> OK. Uh, well, this is certainly the up. most. Uh, this is certainly the most interesting interview so far. Um, so you uh Ensign Cole. Law, correct? Yeah, it's Cole S. Law. Mm-hmm. But you can call me co-pilot. I'm going to reach both. Like, am, I, am I handcuffed? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to reach both my hands out. Uh, weird, okay. weird handshake. I, 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 do I, we handshake? Is that do- part of... We, we don't. don't. We don't. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I'm not going nice to, to call you... you- not going to call you co-pilot, and uh, uh, it is yet to be seen uh, whether or not this is a nice meeting, Mister um, Law. Oh, dang! So tell me, how long have you been in the military? Uh, about a year. Got out of the academy a couple of months ago. Got put on some training missions. Uh, you know, I'm pretty experienced. You can tell I'm a, I'm a pretty good pilot. Yeah, and here it says you went to the academy with um, what was his name again? Oh, you mean Lone Star? Uh, uh yes, yes. Uh, Ensign Pat Mitchell. Yes. Yeah, Lone me and Lone Star. Star, we're like uh, we're super good bros. We uh, we've saved a lot of lives with each other, kicked a lot of ass. We're both really good pilots. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's looking at your record. He kind of yeah, frowns. You can probably see how you can probably see how like all the badass shit we've done. Like we uh we he, we stopped uh, the golf from hitting the Inverness. You know that's a lot of money. We we saved the military. Just throwing that out there. I mean you don't have to write that down or anything. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's like so. Uh, what made you um a man of your disposition join the military? I I've always been good at wanting to fight. <laughs> And um, you know, after my parents went missing, well, some say they were murdered, but that's against that's you know, no, we don't have to get in that. But once they went missing, you know, I didn't I didn't have a lot of direction in life, so you know, just join the military. That's what all my friends were saying, friend. That's what my mentors were saying back at my orphanage. 
<laughs> Fuck. All right, the interviewer is just kind of frowning through all those answers. He then says, uh, how long have I'm you... I'm going to squat uh, back down. He just stares at you. Uh-huh. How long have you uh, served under Captain Godfrey? Uh, we, um, I think we were just under her for like, you know, a few training missions here. So, you know, it's like a couple of months. How long uh, at all? How long have you um, known Colonel McCaffrey? Uh, you know, like a day. Like a mm, day. Yeah, interesting. It's what everyone else said, but no one also said that they met him yesterday when retailing their events of yesterday. That's very interesting. I mean, you know, you meet you meet a lot of people. You meet a lot of names. Yeah, you yeah. On the base. I, I, mean, I, I just un- met you. I just met you. I wouldn't say we hung out all day. If someone asked me what I did yesterday, I wouldn't oh. say I hung out with this guy. All right, this is a good point. This is a good point. Good point. I'll make note of that. Yes, that will definitely hold up in court. <laughs> good. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I probably should have been a lawyer now that I'm thinking about it because I, I, I think I have a knack for this. Okay. <laughs> Your last name is Law. Hmm. All right. Now, um, now on to the uh, – well, actually, before I continue my questioning, I have this, I have this uh, pending lawsuit to be served to you from uh, Paramount Pictures for blatant copyright infringement of the timeless classic Tommy Boy. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> you can't copyright a joke, bro. This is fuck. Well, they seem to think that they can, and they will take you to court to prove it. Uh, here, you are served, sir. He hands you a paper. <laughs> Adam said it. It's canon. <laughs> that's how my that's how my co-pilot gets taken down. <laughs> In court. <laughs> All right. Uh, on with the uh, regular questioning then. So, what uh, what did you do yesterday? Please enlighten me. We had a pretty sick volleyball game. Oh yes. And what was the score on that? I I just want to compare the numbers to the numbers your friend told me about and oh, the friend, other team. Like, you know, my best friend or like who you're just calling friend? Who 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 gave you the numbers? Uh, I got numbers from uh, your associates, uh, Kilgore and Topper, and also um, Mitchell. What the fuck did they say? Oh, oh. no, no! I want they you say. to tell me. You would know the score. Yeah. And Lone Star agreed with their version of the score, so I, I don't think it is under question of bias. So please enlighten uh, me. What was the score? Well, by my count, it was twenty to one. That was canon. <laughs> <laughs> that was what was canon. <laughs> like, canon. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Maybe they just added the zero and switched the winning and losing teams. Hmm. Well, why would your friend Lone Star also conveniently forget that? Oh, um, well, Lone Star said that. Well, we, me and him have this thing where. We don't really n- understand the rules of volleyball and, or <laughs> or score telling. So when you said when I said twenty to one, I meant one to twenty, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what, what score do you put first? Is this, is this actually a rule or something? Like when telling the score that indicates who? Yeah, it's usually, who's... I believe it's usually home than away. Yeah, see, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. It's crazy. Home. I mean, we're all, we're all home, you know, when you think about it. Yeah. All right. So after your volleyball match, what did you do? Uh, you know, um, hey, this is crazy. You're not going to believe me. <laughs> uh-huh. There were, there were bees on base. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I think we covered that. I think we, I think we covered that with the lawsuit. Um. I don't really yeah, well, care. I don't, I don't really care that there are bees on base. Uh, honestly, that's oh, not my well, problem. I cared. I cared. You mean you asked what I did yesterday and ran from bees? I ran from bees all fucking day. All day. <laughs> Ask anyone who saw me, my bee story. That's all I was talking about. All right. Uh, very, uh, very interesting. All right. So I have one more question. One more question. Uh, this uh, right here was found in your quarters. He holds up a, a crudely drawn goodbye picture for uh, Tom. It has a picture of Tom and Lone Star and Copilot. It looks like a child drew it. Oh, could you inform yeah. me? Uh, could you inform me who this uh, 
who this Tom is in the center because there's a there's a there's a certain Tom Hartsfeld who conveniently went AWOL yesterday. And this seems to be a goodbye letter uh, drawn by a child. Could you also inform me where this child is? I uh I just found <laughs> that. <laughs> it it looked like a kid. I don't know, maybe Tom's kid wrote it. I I don't know. He has a son, right? He has to. He's I don't know him, but he probably has a son. <laughs> I'm not I'm not friends with him if that's what you're asking. I definitely didn't draw it. I it was, you know, the the kid who did drew it is pretty good at drawing for a kid, right? <laughs> it's pretty good, right? There's a uh, a knocking at the door and he's like, "Ah, yes. Come in. Come in. Come in." And it's a guard bringing in a a, a large pepperoni pizza. He sets it on the table. Uh, the the interviewer the interviewer opens it up. You can smell the cheese. You can you can smell the pepperoni. It's like, what the fuck is it? Ah uh, yes. Oh no, this is lunch. This is lunch. You didn't get your lunch already delivered. Everyone else in the cells have already had their lunch. What? Uh, yes. Yeah. What the fuck? No, I haven't. I haven't eaten. Hmm. Interesting. Well, uh. You know, I could share a little bit of this pizza here with you, uh, if you maybe told me something more about this this drawing here. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you hear Fern's voice in your conscience. Don't no. Do <laughs> no, don't do it, please. <laughs> I don't know anything about that drawing. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, very well. Uh, well, I'm going to eat this, and um, I, I think the guard who takes you back to your cell is already on break, so you're just going to have to sit there, uh, or s squat there, uh, and watch me eat this pizza. <laughs> I'm just gonna cry, you can see tears <laughs> dropping on the table. <laughs> All right. And then he folds up that little drawing and hands it to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's going to be that scene. <laughs> so we're going to go back to Tiny and Haddock in the cell. Yes. So mm. you, there is an item that was dropped for yeah. oops, presumably Haddock. Well, after the cell door closed, I uh, go and pick it up. Mm hmm. It is a micro communicator. So it's oh, a little. Sure little thing you put in your, your your ear and you can talk. I obviously immediately recognize it and put it in my ear. All right. As you get it close to your ear, you hear it faint at first. And then as you put it in your ear, it's a normal speaking volume. Uh, the voice of Colonel McCaffrey. He's like, Haddock, Haddock, come in. Damn it, Haddock. Colonel McCaffrey, this is Haddock. Ah, oh, thank God. All right. Ah, bastards put you up in a pen, didn't they? They sure did. All right. Well. Look, I'm trying to pull some strings. Just, you know, fucking don't tell the truth. Just lie to him. You know, whatever it takes. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, what did he God. say? <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, uh, that, that's, it's Colonel McCaffrey on the other side of this line here. He said he's trying to pull some strings and that we should lie. Oh. <laughs> did, did, did you lie to them? Did you tell oh, them what you did? A little... Not whole out lies. Okay, but but did did you like actually tell them what our plan was at all? Oh no, not at all. Oh, we should be good then, sir. Yes. I am in a cell here, only with Lieutenant Dancer right now. Um. The door opens and Copilot comes in. I'm guessing. Are you still crying, Copilot? Yeah. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> you, you can see my eyes are really red, and I'm all snotty, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I guess as I say that sentence, like who I'm with in a sentence, he comes in and I just go, oh no. <laughs> just go What's wrong? What's wrong? Haddock, are they torturing you? What's going on? <laughs> Man, if they fucking tortured you. Uh, I'm gonna go sit in um, the corner. I'm not going to say anything until the cell door is closed again. All right, the cell door is closed. I feel really bad for a uh, co-pilot, so I take my bandana off and give it to him. <laughs> Thanks, Lieutenant Dancer. <laughs> they didn't let me eat. Did you guys eat? No. 
No, no, we didn't. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Sir, no, we, we weren't we weren't tortured. It's just that instant law just arrived back at the cell and he looks a little roughened up. Goddamn bastards. They're taking this too far. <laughs> You're just held for convenient political reasons. Damn it. Uh, I'll make him pay for this. <laughs> I have to add that that I'm only able to talk to one half of the team. I don't know what the other half is doing or what they told them. Well, hopefully they're fucking lying through their goddamn teeth. That would be the smartest thing a single man could do. <laughs> Ensign, Ensign Law, what, what did you tell them? Oh, I, yeah, I lied a lot to them. I told <laughs> them a bunch of lies. <laughs> <laughs> they were pretty... <laughs> That guy there, he's 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 a bad motherfucker, you know. I'm gonna he's I'm gonna grab him by by his shoulders and I'm gonna say, "You did fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Great job. Great it. job. <laughs> Thank you." I also just give him a pat on the back. Uh, I don't say anything. I'm gonna start lying more often. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back in the. Lone Star, Mad Gun, and Godfrey Cell. So, what, what have you guys been doing to fill the fucking time? What have we, yeah. what have we been? Do, what have we been doing, Mad Gun? Uh, we're playing charades. Okay. <laughs> I, do it. Do, do a round. Do a round right, of charades. Right. What? What are you? Are you? Are you the one making the? I'm the, the one making making the motions. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> describe describe the motions. I'm flapping my arms like a bird. All right, Godfrey is watching. I'm assuming Lone Star is playing too. You're watching. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Well, then it's 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 on. You're an eagle. Freebird. No. Freebird. No. No. Freebird. The dragon. No. Uh. What else are you doing? I'm I'm like I'm else. trying trying to simulate. Okay, I got my hand my hands held up, head up to the side, and I'm like zooming around like I'm a, you know what I mean, like I'm a plane. You're Gundam. No. <laughs> you don't know what that is yet. I mean, <laughs> it's just something I made up. <laughs> <laughs> like a Gundam has his arms out. <laughs> I'm, 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 Wait, his arms are at his side, or they're out, like just like they're out, like like their wings. Oh, okay, yeah, oh, you're playing saberfish. You're, you're a jet. No, ten cod, ten cod, ten cod, ten cod. Close. Um, what do they do? Fly. Fly. Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm flying. <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay. And and flying anchors. Now, yes. Woo! Ah, damn it! I should have got that one. Fuck yeah! <laughs> wait, wait. I, I like how, I like how you pick charades to play on the podcast. Yes, I know. Well, I look. <laughs> it's the best <laughs> thing: a visual <laughs> game and a fucking audio medium. <laughs> I didn't fucking pick that. <laughs> Mad yeah. said it, and I just had to fucking roll with Good it. Good choice, Mad Gun. Thank you. All right. So there is a uh, knocking at the cell door. Come and in. uh be <laughs> ha ha fucking ha again he opens up the door like, okay uh you big guy points to you mad gun i get up like i was gonna go again no no <laughs> down <laughs> all right not you i guess he means the other big guy uh that's you mad gun yeah oh okay all right he he motions you away and uh the door shuts and locks and he takes you to the same interrogation room same song and dance. Very cold. Still floor. Or not still floor. Still <laughs> still chair. Still table. <laughs> concrete, everything else. And a bright fucking light in your face. The uh, in interrogator is like, oh, welcome, Lieutenant. Welcome. Have a seat. <clears throat> I'll sit down. All right. All right. I just have a few questions to go through. Um, how long have you been in the military? I tell him, First Lieutenant, Jack Gather. Service number five one nine five three seven six six five. Oh, okay. I um, uh, uh, why did you join the military, Lieutenant Gather Jack? <laughs> service number five one five three seven six six five. Ah, <sighs> well, I know how this game's played. All right, I um, look, I'm just doing my job. I, I'm here to ask you questions. I don't know why I've been told to ask you questions. Uh, and I, I understand your position. You don't want to give answers. It's it's simple. There's there's people above us bumping heads, and we doesn't matter to us at all. We we do not matter. We just have to do our jobs and get it done with. And so, 
I am supposed to interrogate you for, he looks at his watch, about five to 10 minutes. It has been about, no, no, 30 seconds. I'm going to sit here for four minutes, not ask you any more questions. You don't have to give me any more answers and I'll put you back in your cell. Deal? I'll take that as a yes. You know, there's an old <laughs> saying that says you catch more flies with honey than vinegar. Well, I mean, I do have the, about half a pizza left over. I really could not finish a pizza. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> so, if, I mean, if, if pizza would let you answer my questions, then you have at it, sir. He, he slides the box along the table. All right, I'm going to eat two slices. And then when he's ready, let me know. Okay. So, um, I would like to ask you about this, uh, order form. Uh, it, it's, it's in your name, but usually you don't order these things. Uh, especially, uh, what does he hit here? 200 containers of cherry scented soap. <laughs> Do you know I- anything about that? Why, why that order form was, uh, put through as a PO? All right. What you need is uh, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, three and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of white sugar, one and a quarter cup milk, one egg, three tablespoons of butter, melted, obviously. You put it in a bowl, prep it, cook it for 15 minutes, ready in 20 minutes, and that's how you get my after-sex pancakes. All right, I got all that down. Uh, Valuable (laughs) information. He folds it and puts it in his pocket. I'm like, (laughs) I am going to um, move to a different interrogation room. In about four minutes, the guards are going to come and take you out of here, put you back in the cell. All right. (laughs) Good meeting you, Lieutenant. (laughs) He leaves. (laughs) He's gone. I'm going to finish the pizza. (laughs) (laughs) Of course you are. (laughs) All right, so back in yeah, tiny co-pilot and Haddock's cell, there's a knock at the door. Already? Yeah, and it opens up, and it's like, hey, they need someone else. You want the, me uh... to go again? No, no. Uh, Haddock. Right. Oh, him. You, big guy, back. Let's get this over with. Hey, I'm going to stop right. him and be like, be careful. They're ruthless in there. Don't let them break you. <laughs> I'll be fine. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So the guard escorts you to the same inter. Well, no, actually, to a different <laughs> interrogation room. <laughs> well, this, this one has like pillows you, upon pillows upon. <laughs> like, you know, nice you really chair. soft plush. You, uh, so the guard walks you past the double sided glass that you can see into the first interrogation room, and you see Mad Gun eating a pizza. <laughs> Uh, quite vigorously. I'm not sure if I should be worried. Or... <laughs> <laughs> I just like said I'm, it's ruthless. <laughs> I'm not sure if, if he was like if I think he was bright or if he <laughs> if he's being forced to eat. If they just gave up on him. <laughs> he has a gluten intolerance. <laughs> <laughs> right. The guard the guard continues to walk you uh, to a it's a nice wooden door. And he, the guard opens it and l- lets you in. And it's an office, and there's a nice leather chair. And <laughs> oh, the, <yeah. laughs> the the MP who's been questioning everyone has, has been sitting behind a desk. You see a nameplate on the desk. Sergeant Kurtz is his name. He's like, ah, oh, welcome, welcome. Have a seat. Thank you, sir. All right. Well, we are going to make this very quick. You are Hagen Haddock, yes? That is correct. All right, good, good. How long have you been in the military? For as long as I can remember. That's that's uh, quite an exaggeration there. Uh, could you give me a number? <laughs> I was born in the military. <laughs> Look, the, 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 accept, the acceptable answers is a year range less than your age or oof. <laughs> I'll go with oof then. Okay, uh, there's two oofs. All right. <laughs> so, so what made you join the uh, the military, Haddock? An excessive amount of patriotism. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, that's um, <laughs> that is uh, also a checkbox next to patriotism. <laughs> There are, there, there are two checkboxes under this answer. One is for patriotism, and one is an excessive amount of patriotism. <laughs> so I will fill in that. I love it when that happens. I don't have to write anything. So convenient. 
All right. Uh, how long? Those sheets. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, okay. Look, so this is, I, I can just get those questions out of the way then. That's <laughs> going to be a waste of time. I know you're just going to do the best option for all of them. All right. <laughs> it's, it's very efficient. <laughs> you know, before these sheets, I would spend 20, 30 fucking minutes shooting the shit with prisoners before I was able to get even the basic information from them. And then I would always, they'd give me these long-winded paragraphs. I'd have to write exactly. shit down. I know exactly what you're talking yes, about. And, and th these are just so easy. And the basic answers are just check boxes. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> You, you you hear um, McCaffrey come in on your ear. <laughs> it's like, hold on, Haddock, we're almost there. <laughs> I don't care what torture they're putting you through. We're getting you out. I'm doing great. I don't like at the same time. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, all right. So he goes to answering like the free form question. So like, how long have you served under Colonel McCaffrey? How long has it been? Like, I don't. Maybe like a couple of years. Yeah, you'd probably be serving under him for like your most recent deployment to California base. So a couple of years would be fair. Uh, yeah, it's, a a, couple, it, it's been a couple of years. All right. All right. And what, what do you think about him? And then you hear in your earpiece. Be careful. Oh, God. <laughs> watch yourself. Watch yourself, Haddock. <laughs> I can hear every word you say. <laughs> oh, okay, it's that kind of And thing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing about the drinking we did in December. Nothing. <laughs> like I'm trying to form an answer, but every time he cuts me off, <laughs> it's just an awkward pause where I just open my mouth and then close it again. <laughs> He's a very reliable leader, and he only has the best of his troops in mind. Ah, oh, way to suck my fucking dick there. <laughs> All right, there's a uh, a hurried knocking at the door. The MP says, come in, and it opens, and it's the guard. He's like, um, sir, uh, Colonel McCaffrey's here with like 20, 20 or so troops. Um, they got some written orders. Uh, and he walks over and hands the written order to Sergeant Kurtz. Sergeant Kurtz looks at the order. He's like, ah, it looks like everything is in order here. All right, well, uh, release the prisoners immediately. Uh, Haddock, it was nice meeting you. Uh, thank you for the, the very efficient forms that have made my life so much fucking easier. I extend my hand. All right. And she, oh, I let me get, let me, let me get those. He, he undoes your handcuffs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> thank you. I hope my forms will help you in the future too. All right. Yeah. Very proficient with word. Uh, that's honestly that should be on your resume. I did not see it. You need to put when you need to put Microsoft Word uh, 0079 <laughs> on that resume. <laughs> oh, consider it. Simply amazing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. You're you're free to go in in the cells. You guys are kind of unlocked and issued out the detention center uh, of the MP station. And into like the MP station proper, where McCaffrey is posted up with a few of his subordinates. Good to see you're all okay. Oh, whoa! He looks at co-pilot. Oh man, what what did they do to you? You don't want to know, sir. Oh. Wait, is he still doing squats? <laughs> <laughs> yes. They they broke him, sir. Ah, I'll have to have a word with that Sergeant Kurtz. And over something as stupid as these political games. <sighs> all right. Well, I got you all out in time. We might be able to put the plan into action. And also, we don't really have to be sneaky about it anymore. Pretty much everyone in the opposing camp has uh, vamoosed. You know, it was uh, myself, Godfrey, Captain Allen. We we're the kind of the, the members of command that uh, wanted to do a preemptive attack. The rest wanted defense. That was Captain Eugen. He left a few hours ago. Lieutenant Colonel Rast left yesterday with that Zaku. So kind of shifted the power dynamic into our favor. So now we can do that preemptive attack. But uh, kind of running short on time, guys. So let's go. Get suited up and ready. Yes, sir. You got it. Yes, sir. Damn, that pizza was good. What? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, yes.
Yes, the classic pizza torture technique. How did how did you possibly survive? They've hit me with that one a number of times. It's how I lost this eye. I have will of steel, sir. You do. You do, Ensign. Dead, dead medium. Good.